Blender Tutorial Learn how to model and texture a shark. This tutorial was originally made by Neil Hersick. In this tutorial, you will learn how to model and texture a shark. Open Blender. We will use a background image as a guide to modeling our shark. This image file called sharkbackground.png can be downloaded from the link in the video description below. Before we can add a background image file to the background image tool we must first add the image to the UV editor. Click on the editor type button in the lower left corner of the 3D editor viewport. Header and select UV image editor. This will open Blender's UV image editor. Click on the image button in the UV editor header and select open. This will open Blender's file browser. Locate the shark background.png file, select it and press on the open image button. This will place the shark background.png image into the UV editor. Now we will add the image to the background images panel. Click on the editor type button in the lower left corner of the UV image editor header and select 3D view. To incorporate this image into our Blender scene open up the right properties panel of the 3D editor by clicking on the plus, plus in the upper right corner of the 3D viewport or press the NKY. Scroll down to the background images panel and click on the add image button. Click on the browse ID data button located to the left of the open button. Select the shark background.png image file from the list. This will add the shark background.png image file to the background image 2L and it will be listed in the background images panel. Note that at this point the background images panel is a bit grayed out. This is because we have not yet activated the background image tool. Place a check mark into the checkbox to the left of the background image panel name by clicking on it. This will active the tool. This will display the background image panel on your display. To see the background image go to front orthographic view, numpad 1. Note, background images only display when in orthographic. Projection mode. If you in perspective mode, press numpad 5, 2. Going to orthographic projection mode. The background image will not render. It is used only as a guide. Let's lower the opacity of this background image to 0.4. We will be using this background image as a modeling guide in front view only. By default the image will be displayed in all orthographic views. Click on the views. Drop down box and select front view. We will use the default cube object for this tutorial. Go to front view, numpad minus 1. Select the cube if not already selected. In the transform properties panel name this object shark and set the scale x to 0.5. Go to wireframe, zku while. Use the blue and red transform widget arrows to move the shark object to the edge of the shark tail as shown below. Tab to edit mode. Press the A key to deselect the vertices. Press the BKEY, box select, and select the row of vertices on the right. Press the E key, extrude, followed by the XKEY, followed by 1. Left click to set. This will extrude the shark object 1 blender unit to the right along the X axis. Press the E key, extrude, X and 1. Left click to set. This will extrude the vertices 1. Blender unit to the right again is shown. Repeat this process until you have 8 segments of extrusion as shown below. With the final right set of vertices still selected, use the red transform widget arrow to move them to the left positioning them at the tip of the shark's nose as shown below. Rotate your display view to see it more dimensionally. Switch to front view, numpad 1. Press the A key to deselect the vertices. Press the BKEY. Box select, and select the far left set of vertices. Press this key, scale, and scale them down to the size of the shark image behind them and use the blue transform widget arrow, if needed, to position them. Press the A key to deselect the vertices. Press the BKEY, box select, and select the second set of vertices, scale them and then position them as shown. Repeat this process for all of the sets of vertices. You may want to zoom in to get a better view. Note, make sure you use the scale tool and then position. Instead of just positioning the vertice groups. 
Look at the shark object dimensionally. It should look like the image shown. Save your file. Switch to top view, numpad 7. Press the ZKEY to enter shading mode. We want to create a new face in the center of the shark's back to extrude the top fin. Press the A key to deselect the vertices. Go to edge select mode, control tab, select edge. Box select the two edges on the top of the shark where the fin will be located as shown. Note. We made this selection in shaded mode with the limited selection button. Activated, by default, so that we select only the edges on the top of the shark and not the bottom edges as well. A box select in wireframe mode select the vertices, edges, or faces behind the visible selection as well. Zoom in a bit on this area. Click on the knife tool in the tool panel on the left. Your cursor will turn into a knife shape. Move your cursor to the left of the selected edges. Left click and drag a knife cut through the two edges. Then, left click again. This will result in line cutting through the two edges as seen below. To confirm this cut, press enter or click the space bar. There will now be a new edge between the selected edges. Select the two other edges as shown below. Press the knife tool button again and make another knife cut across these two edges. Left click to set and enter to confirm. Go to Vertex Select Mode, Control Tab. Press the A key to deselect any edges. Now move the newly made edges so that they sort of line up in the center giving us a face that we can later extrude to make the shark's top fin. We now have a face to extrude for the top fin. Press the A key to deselect the edges. Go to Vertex Select, Control Tab. Box select the four vertices that make up the new face as shown below. Switch to Front View. Press the E key, extrude, and extrude the face up a little bit as shown below. Press the E key, extrude, again and extrude the face up as shown below. Press the ZKEY to go back to wireframe view. Press the A key to deselect the vertices. Box select the vertex groups and move them, GKEY, as shown below. Make sure you use box select, BKEY, so that you are selecting the hidden vertices as well. Save your blend file. Go to front view. Focus in on the tail area. Box select the leftmost group of vertices and extrude them to the left as shown below. Switch to side view, numpad 3. Press the key, scale, then press the Y key and scale the vertices along the Y axis as shown below. Switch to top view, numpad 7. Press the A key to deselect the vertices. Press the ZKEY to shaded mode. Box select the top vertices on the tail only as shown. Switch to front view. Press the ZKEY to switch back to wireframe mode. Press the E key, extrude, and region extrude the vertices up as shown. Press the A key to deselect the vertices. Box select the two groups of top vertices. Individually and move them, GKEY, as shown below. Box select the top vertices, extrude them, E key, then reposition the vertices as shown. Box select the top vertices, extrude them again and reposition the vertices as shown. Repeat this process on the bottom forming the complete tail. Save your blend file. We will now model the shark's side fins. Switch to front view. Press the ZKEY to enter shaded mode. Press the A key so no vertices are selected. Go to Edge Select, Troll Tab. Select the two edges that will hold the shark's right side fin as shown below. As we did on the top fin we will need to knife divide this face to create the vertices to extrude. Press the knife button tool in the left tool panel. Your cursor will turn into a knife shape. Move your cursor to the left of the selected edges. Left click and drag a knife cut through the two edges. Then, left click again. This will result in line cutting through the two edges as seen below. Press enter or spacebar to confirm the knife cut. Select the two lower edges. Press the knife tool button again and make another knife cut a bit lower than the first. Left click to set and enter to confirm. Press the A key to deselect the edges. Go to faces select mode, control tab. Select the new face as shown. Press the ZKEY to return to wireframe mode. 
Switch to top view. Press the E key. Extrude, and region extrude the vertices out a bit is shown. Press the E key, extrude, again and extrude out is shown below. Press the E key, extrude, again and extrude out is shown below. Press the E key to deselect the face. Go to vertex select mode, control tab. Box select the individual groups of vertices and move them as shown below. Box select the end vertices. Switch to front view. With the fin end vertices still selected move them down a bit as shown. Look at the shark model dimensionally. We now need to add a fin on the other side of the shark. Go to shaded mode. Go to back view, control numpad 1. Go to edge select mode, control tab. Select the two edges between which the other side fin will be modeled as shown below. Press the knife tool on the tool panel on the left. Your cursor will turn into a knife shape. Move your cursor to the left of the selected edges. Left click and drag a knife cut through the two edges. Then, left click again. Press enter, or spacebar, to confirm cut. This will result in line cutting through the two edges as seen below. Select the two lower edges. Press the knife button in the left tool panel again and make a second knife cut lower down as shown below. Go to face select mode. Select the new face we made by the knife cuts. Go to top view. Extrude the face three times as we did on the other side fin. The go to vertex select mode and wireframe and adjust the positions of the vertices. Make sure to box select to create a fin just as we did on the other side. Remember to grab the end vertices and drag them down a bit as we did on the other fin. Go to solid shaded mode and rotate your display to see your model more dimensionally. Save your blend file. Go to the properties panel and uncheck the background images checkbox. We no longer need to use the background image. Stay tuned for part 2 of the shark modeling tutorial. Visit garagefarm.net today and render your Blender projects with ease. Get $50 trial credits to test the Blender Render Farm. Service with all features enabled without any commitment.